Hi everybody, and welcome to Slurp. Please excuse my casual sitting position, I won't be like this for long. I want to share a bit of information about how I generate the themes for Slurp. It all starts with feeding the theme machine. Theme machine. And believe me, the price is not cheap. No, to generate a theme, the theme machine requires a sacrifice. This is the part I usually never show on camera. That'll do it. Great and noble theme machine, I come bearing a sacrifice. My foot. It's cool, I don't really use this one very much anyway, so you're totally free to have it. All I ask in return is that you generate me a theme for today's episode of Slurp. Make it a good one. Life advice. That's cool, I can totally do that. Nice, all right, we got a theme, cool. Well, thanks theme machine, it's been real. See you for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Slurp, the Q&A series that seems to get weirder and weirder as time goes on. As you now know, this episode's theme is life advice. Just to kick things off, I'll give you a bit of life advice. Never chop your foot off with a cleaver as a sacrifice for a theme machine. The only reason I did it is because I have very fast regenerating abilities. It'll probably grow back by the end of this episode, so let's get down to slurping business. I've asked you ghouls and goblins on Twitter for some questions on the theme of life advice. Here is what you asked me. Amy asks, Cool things to do in Brighton at night when clubbing isn't your thing? Don't worry, Amy. I've got your back. I'm not a clubber either. I have been clubbing once, and I hated it. <laughs> so just a few nights ago, me and a few friends went on down to this prehistoric dino neon rave glow-in-the-dark golf extravaganza and that was pretty cool so if you want something a little bit weird to do at night in Brighton and you like neon dinosaurs that's the ticket Noodle asks, I need a tip on how to sleep when my mind is racing like a NASCAR speedway usually I would recommend the use of a lullaby cube but we'll cover all of that later. No, what I would suggest is an app called Rain Rain. If I wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat thinking about something dumb I said 13 years ago and I can't get back to sleep, I use this app. The sounds of the ocean or forest rain or a campfire will slowly lull you back to sleep. This is totally not a spawn, I just love the app and it has helped me out of a restless pickle many, many times. Peter asks, how do I get ghosts to like me? Okay, Peter, this is very simple. All you need to do before you go to bed is put out a glass of warm milk, plate of cookies, maybe mince pies, some carrots for the reindeer. This is Santa Claus. I've just realized I'm talking about Santa Claus. Santa is kind of a ghost in that he doesn't exist. Oh, geez, okay, spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> Making friends with ghosts. I think just let yourself be haunted because that's all ghosts really want to do. They just want to haunt you and it's not always necessarily a bad haunting. So just embrace the haunting. Just do not try to exercise them. Do not try to exercise them. They do not like that. Trust me. Nisa asks, how to cope with the fact that the universe is just a giant cosmic coincidence and nothing really matters and existence is essentially purposeless. Find a hobby or knitting, maybe. Courtney asks, I'm moving away for college next week. Any tips for living on your own for the first time? I mean, I would say learn to cook, but if you haven't learned by now, a week isn't long enough. You'll learn at college. No, I would say a way to get adjusted is just cover your dorm room with posters and just make it feel really homely. If you like plush toys of funny looking cats, then yeah, you get the cats. You see what I mean? Just make it as personal as possible and you'll immediately adjust. That's what I should have done and I didn't. And I almost left university. Then the room got personal and I was like, hey, cool, this is my room now. This actually feels like my room. PJ, is that the first actual nugget of advice you've given in this video? I think it is. Mm. 
Max asks, My guy friend's voice sounds exactly like my boyfriend's voice. How do I not accidentally call him babe? Look, Max, babe, make it part of your vocabulary to say babe all the time, and you'll never run into an awkward situation. Kind of like uh, Scaramouche from Samurai Jack, babe. Scaramouche, beep boop bitty boop boop, babe. Oh, hey, a cool babe. Samurai Jack has lost his sword, baby. Thought you want to know, babe. The name is Scaramouche, babe. Just keep saying babe, and nothing can go wrong, ever. Elle asks, how to deal with the people who don't agree with eating the unpopped popcorn kernel. I mean, you just blast them into the sun where they belong. I don't understand why you would need to ask. Isn't it obvious? Alex Harper, whose display picture is a tiny walking penis with a cute face, asks how to pass as human. Um, I, gee, I don't know, man. Maybe, like, start with a slightly different display picture, something a little bit more human and not walking genitalia. I don't know, it's just a little, it's just off the top of my head. It's just just what I thought off the top of my head. I, it's to take it or leave it, you know? It's, 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 it's just immediately what just popped into my head, you know? And finally, a question from Hunter XX. They have asked, how to stop being the weird kid at school? Hunter, let me tell you something. If you're the weird kid at school and you tend to get a bit of flack for it, don't worry about it. I know that's easier said than done, but hear me out. I too was the weird kid at school and I got a hell of a lot of flack for it. It was kind of the worst and it made me hate school. And there were times where I tried to be something I wasn't and it really didn't feel right. I felt weird at trying to be something that I wasn't, you know? So I would say to you, just keep being weird, man. Personally, I feel it's actually kind of cooler to be weird than completely normal. So take it from an ex-weird kid, things do get better, but just stay weird, man. Just stay weird. If I wasn't the weird kid at school, we wouldn't have had a video where I start by chopping off my foot to feed it into a bucket to get a theme. We need to embrace the weird kids, not treat them like outcasts. Come on, it's 2017. Was that also another actual nugget of proper advice? That makes two. I did it, guys. I gave two genuine pieces of advice in a slurp video. Oh, 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 how about that? <laughs> I very much hope you enjoyed this episode of Slurp. This one's dedicated to all the weird people out there. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can get your own Slurp mug from kickthepj.com if you'd like, and maybe even support my Patreon if you want to contribute towards some very rad films that are coming very soon. Cool. Take it easy, everybody, and I'll see you guys. <laughs>